A fair five-sided spinner is spun twice. Draw a tree diagram to show all the probabilities. What is the probability of both spins landing on yellow? What is the probability of landing one green and one yellow? And what is the probability of landing at least one green? Okay, so let's look at that. So drawing the uh, tree diagram, so if I spin it once, then I can get a yellow or a green. The chance of getting yellow is two fifths. The chance of getting a green is three fifths. So this is be the first spin. And then on the second spin, having got a yellow on the first, I could get a yellow or a uh, green on the second. So that's two fifths and three fifths again. And the probability, if I got a green on the first spin, then again I could get a yellow or green on the second spin. So two fifths and three fifths and second spin. So this is our tree diagram. Now to get the probability of getting a yellow and a yellow. The yellow does not affect that I get a yellow on the second spin. So these two events are independent. So therefore you multiply them together. So the probability of yellow and yellow is going to be two fifths times two fifths, which is the multiplication law for independent events that's going to give me 4 out of 25 and then the probability the fact that I got a yellow on the first probably getting a green on the second is going to be uh, 3 out of 5 so I need to, to, to get that it's going to be 2 fifths times 3 fifths so the probability of yellow and a green is 2 fifths times 3 fifths which gives me 6 out of 25 so again these are independent similarly here Probably getting a green on the first and a yellow on the second is going to be three fifths times two fifths, which is six out of 25. And the probability of getting a green on the first and green on the second is going to be three fifths times three fifths, which is equal to nine twenty fifths. Now, these events here are independent events. So the tree diagram is very good for showing independent events. Now, the fact that this event happens in the experiment, so getting a yellow and yellow for two spins of the dice, it will exclude any of these. So these events are said to be mutually exclusive. Only one of these things will actually happen if I carry out the experiment. The other thing to know, if you add up all the probabilities, four plus six is 10, 16 plus nine is 25. So 25 out of 25 is one. All the probabilities here must sum up to one. Right, so now we can use the tree diagram to answer some questions. So there's the tree diagram. So the first question, the probability that both spins are yellow. So if both spins are yellow is going to be this one here. So that that's going to be a yellow and a yellow which is going to be equal to 4 out of 25 and the probability of one green and one yellow okay that can happen either a yellow and a green or green and a yellow so these two events are mutually exclusive so this is going to be the addition law for uh, mutually exclusive event so that's going to be 6 out of 25 plus 6 out of 25 which is equal to 12 out of 25 okay and then we're going to look at the probability of at least one green so using the tree diagram again so uh, now all the probabilities add up to one so we want at least one green we can do find it by doing what one minus the probability of no green. So that's going to be one minus the probability of getting a yellow and a yellow, which is one minus four out of 25, which is going to be 21 out of 25. And now in general, the probability of at least one thing happening is normally equal to one minus the probability that none happened, okay? So we could, if we wanted to do uh, this one, at least one green is to add that one. Six plus six is 12, plus nine will make 21. So we could add those three together. That's the other way of doing it. But this technique of doing one minus the probability of none is much more efficient, 
particularly when we've got a much bigger tree diagram. So this has been a video to show you how to draw tree diagrams and how to find the probability of at least one. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.